Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials, and in this video, we're going to be showing you how you can manage your projects within Atom. So let's get started on that right now. So you might be wondering about project management in Atom. In many other text editors and IDEs and things like that, you basically have project configuration files as well as maybe a project file itself. Opening that project file will then open up the correct files needed in your text editor. Well, Atom doesn't really have that, with the exception of IDEs that really need those settings. In a text editor or something really basic here, I, typically I find myself just dragging a folder into the text editor and opening it. So project managing in Atom is very similar to that sort of process. We have our folder, we have our tree of files here, and the files that show up are basically the ones that aren't being told to be hidden by default in your preferences. Now we can modify and edit any of our files in here just simply by clicking them. And you can see when we quit, close, Atom, when we reopen it, it opens the last projects we had available. Now, if we were to take a folder from our finder or your my computer or something, and we were to simply just drag it into the application, let's say we wanted to just take another folder here. I'm gonna click and drag this into Atom. You can see what it does is it opens up entirely in a new window, which is nice because we now have these two separate projects. However, what if we wanted both of these folders in one project? Could you do that? Another way we could come about this is by clicking Add Project Folder. We could then find a folder in here like Sites. Okay, let's select this one. We can click Open. And now what you see is that we do have two root level folders open in here. So to do that, we need to simply come to File, Add a Project Folder, and it's going to add another folder to this project. Now again, if we were to quit Atom, reopen it, you can see it treats this as a project. Now any single file, if we were to do command T and say styles dot, you can see that it's pulling files from intermediate, meteor, complete, and intermediate. So both of those folders are going to be looked for when you search for files. So another way we could do this is simply just by opening up a new window entirely. You could do that with a keyboard command, command shift N, or you could just simply say new window. From here, we can add a project to the folder. Now this is if you don't necessarily like dragging and things like that. And I've just selected open on the folder that I was currently in. And as you can see, it loaded up all these files here. Now one, another interesting feature that I really like about Atom, if I do command shift N to have another new window, is if I drag a file, let's, Let's open up my finder once more. If I drag a file from this, let's say the index.html file, if I drag this into the editor, it automatically knows this is part of a project that I already have open, and it reopens the particular file here within that project. Let's actually go ahead and close this window entirely. I'm just going to exit out of it. And now let's try the same thing. When I drag index.html over, it does a nice thing. It opens up all of the rest of the files in that folder as well. So it looks for the root folder of index. We'll see that it's this folder, and then it's going to pull in that entire folder. So Adam's minimalist approach to project management is really nice and convenient, and it mostly works in your favor. So as you can see, there are no hardcore tools for working with individual projects, but personally, I think that's just fine. If you'd like to get the rest of these Atom videos before they're published on YouTube, head over to store.leveluptutorials.com or subscribe to a Level Up Pro subscription and get access to the entire series before it's published on YouTube. As always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video or hit me up at Twitter or Facebook at Level Up Tutorials. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.